Hi everyone, I'm back again. Sorry it's been a little while, just things have been a bit busy. Um, crumbs, I've just come over really hot. Excuse me. Uh, I think I'll have to turn the heating down. If you're coming back again, thank you. If you're new here, big welcome. I try to do a couple of videos a week. Um, today's going to be like a haul video. Sometimes it's trying makeup on, first impressions, stuff like that. So if you like makeup, uh, you're a makeup addict like me or collection or whatever. <laughs> addict doesn't sound right and nor just junky, but if you know what I mean. If you love makeup, then this is the place for you. So hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so then you know when I do a video. I reply to all comments and if you share my videos, it helps me get much more noticed, which I really appreciate. I hope I've got enough light today because somebody did mention I needed more light. I've got the main light on. I've got a day lamp thing over the top and then I've got my mirror light on. So I hope that's enough light. I am going to look on Amazon today for another little light to add in here and see if I can afford it this month or I'll have to wait a little while. But I'm coming on to do like a collective haul. I've got these two boxes here that I got... Um, from a little shop I can't remember the name of the shop I should have written it down but it's like um, a shop that buys end of line stuff I think so I'm not a hundred percent sure if you can get these if you can I will do a pinned comment you probably could find them on Amazon or something but they're the brand W7 and it's cruelty free it's not a very expensive brand both these boxes were six pound um, so if I can find something similar, I will do it as a pinned comment. Um, and I just thought I'd give it a go because I've seen a few people trying it out and saying how nice it is and it's not too expensive. I try to stick to drugstore brands as much as I can on here, also for my budget. So let's open this and see. Of course, it's taped up. So I hope you're all doing well and... If you did anything for Mother's Day, I hope you had a nice Mother's Day. We just, um, this is what I got when we went out. Um, we just had a nice little day plodding around a local little town to me and had lunch out. And I had the most yummiest, sorry if there's any vegetarians or vegans on here, but I had a lovely hog roast baguette and the gravy. Oh, it was to die for. It was so nice and yummy. So I will be doing um, swatches with these lipsticks later on because everything's stuck in here. So what, what the, in this box you had a lip tinted, a tinted lip balm, lip liner, matte lipstick and lip gloss. I don't know if they've got colour names on here. Let's have a look. I uh, can't see anything on there. It might have it on the back here oh they're all cut the color of this is called romantic um suspect it's like for valentine's or something so this is what's this one what does it say you are why do they write everything so small so this must be the lip stick oh look at that but i'll actually be trying it on the lips for you all so it's a really pretty pink colour and um, yeah that is nice no horrid smell because I know some of you don't like smells and then I don't have many lip liners so it's nice to have a lip liner and this is a pencil one and that felt really nice it didn't feel scratchy you know sometimes you get something that's really scratchy Oops. these sticky things are a real pain in the what's it excuse the missing nail I need to redo them somewhere. So, oh, this is a lipstick as well. Tinted lip balm. Hmm. Tinted lip balm, lip liner, matte lipstick and a lip gloss. But let's try this one. Oh, that might be the tinted. I think this is the tinted lip balm. Yeah, so that's the tinted lip balm. The lip liner is really nice. And look at that lipstick. Oh, isn't that pretty, that colour? Great for um, the spring and summer. And then we've got the lip gloss. Yeah, this is really nice. So I think you might see me getting some more W7 with how I'm getting this. And then we've got the lip gloss. So it's nice you've got a whole 
little set and it's got the typical typical applicator so that's the lip gloss mm. yeah I'm glad I got that because I was dithering a bit I'll just tidy this up and then and clean my hand and we'll look at the next box okay and in this box this was another si the other six pound one this has got an afterglow blush highlighter lip culture and whatever the all rounder is and these are the blush is called afterglow Oh, so that is the name, and the lip is Soft Satin Lipstick Lip Culture and the All Rounder Colour Pencil. So, yeah, they're cruelty free and vegan friendly. So, if you're looking for a brand that isn't too um, expensive, then so far I would highly recommend. And look, even for, yeah, three I in the other box we had four items for £6. This one we've got three items and that even looks very bougie <laughs> if you want to say that um right that's oh and some pretty tissue paper you know i'll be reusing that well i would because it's got a load of holes in it <laughs> right so this lipstick let's have a look at this color so it's very similar to the other one so yeah, it's just oh no it's a bit darker oh it, and it just glides beautifully i've already got some lipstick um, lip gloss on so I won't use that then we've got a lip pencil to match it um, can I get into this easily so I need to put these on yeah this one was wrapped up but everything was brand new like even the box and stuff because I know sometimes when you go to these um, places and you know it's like end of line you're never 100% sure but this was all really nicely done excuse me I, i'll just get into this i just noticed on the bottom of this one this is called first date and then this color is called i just saw it a minute ago where's it gone i just saw it stylish there he is and this is called stylish so yeah, they just glide so nicely. Like if I try and show you, you can see it's not scratchy or anything like that at all. So I really like that. And then this is a blush and highlight. And yeah, this is the colour Afterglow. They got tape on this as well. Yeah, they have. They just want to test me with my nails because they know I'm slowly losing them. I uh, got you a little monkey. No, get off. I want to keep it. <laughs> oh, look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? So, yes, yeah, because if I use, whenever I use this, I would swirl all the colours round together. So, let's see. It's ever so subtle. I don't know if you can see it too well. Oh, that's better. I've just put another... But isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that is so pretty. Yeah, so, so far, I'm really impressed with them. And then I've got a box of goodies from Look Fantastic. So bear with me. I'm just going to put these bits away and make a bit more room on my vanity. So I won't be long. Right, that's better. The table's much more tidy. I've gone at a funny angle, I think. Yeah, so I've got a box of goodies um, that I ordered from Look Fantastic. There's beauty and makeup in here. Oh, I'm out of breath now. <laughs> Just went and had a quick drink as well. Um, so these I absolutely love. These are the microfiber cloths from Revolution. And I think they're five or six pound. And they're great for taking makeup off. I'm not going to bother taking them out of the packet. You know what a flannel looks like or washcloth. Um, yeah, the light's gone a bit funny again. Let's see. Is that a bit better? Yeah, I am definitely going to look for another light because I can see I've gone a bit dark here and see if I can get... No, I think that's as good as the light's going to get for now. And I'm blinding myself a bit there, so... Well, that's better. I just moved the lamp a bit and that looked a bit better. Yeah, so these are really great. They wash well. They remove makeup nicely. I just put some Marcella water on there and it just wipes my makeup off and then I obviously wash them and clean them they tumble dry I really highly recommend these everything is obviously just my opinion but I really like them 
So I'm just diving into the box. Then I wanted to try this brand out. It keeps coming up on my Instagram. It's Kiko Milani, Milano. Hope I'm saying that right. Um, yeah, I keep seeing this come up. So I've just got two items from them because there were some other things I wanted to get. And I'm still looking around. Sorry, I just saw something on there. Pop that in a bit. Um, still trying out different mascaras. I had the MAC one, which was really nice. and But Benefit just didn't seem to suit me at all. I'll talk about that in an empties video. And also both of them aren't cruelty free and I really want to stick to cruelty free and vegan items on my channel. Um, Cause I know a lot of people like that and I do personally as well. So yeah, I got this mascara and it is, it says it volume, volume eyes, um, volume and care mascara. And what colour did I get it in? It probably says it on here. I think it's probably black. It's what a lot of them seem to be. So yeah, let's have a look. So that looks like a nice applicator. So yeah, I just wanted to try a couple of mascaras out because I've just got rid of some. So I'll be trying that somewhere. Then I'm also like trying different setting sprays. I'm not much of a powder setting spray. Setting crumbs, that's not easy to say. I like setting powders, but I prefer a spray. So I thought I'd try the NYX one. This is the Dewy Finish one, 16 hours. So I'll be giving that a go as well. Sorry, normally I tell you the prices of things and I forgot to print it off this time. Talking of setting sprays, I've got the Hydraulic Hyaluronic. These words are certainly testing me. Um, Revolution one, so I thought I'd give that a go because I've got I've got the Urban Decay All Nighter, which was a sample one, and I like that. I also like my Elf one. Let me just dig out the rest of these items. Is there anything else in there? No. <coughs> Sorry, bubbling my throat. And then I can just get rid of that box. <laughs> that certainly got rid of. And then the other mascara I got to try was. Revolution Big Lash. Um, we'll just show this. This is this is what I love to use to get my makeup off with. And then afterwards, I use the Claude Lee. I've learned how to say that now, thanks to one of you. Um, the Claude Lee um, facial wash afterwards. So yeah, I needed another one of them, and I really like the pink one. I've tried the yellow one, and I just found my skin didn't like it at all. And then another thing from Kiko Milani was an unlimited blush. Or is that the colour? I can't remember now. Um, yeah, so this is the colour unlimited. Um, so I thought I'd try that. And it's got the number 11 on it. So let's just take this out and have a little swatch of this. Oh, that is so nice. It's really silky. You know, some of them, they feel a bit dry. So it's just a pretty, I don't know if you can see that too well. Oh yeah. It's just a very subtle peachy colour. So yeah, looking forward to having a try with these new goodies. So that's just, um, what am I doing? I don't know how. And then the last item, I just couldn't resist. I've been seeing this for ages. So I did think, oh, well, I'll go down that route. I haven't got anything on. So yes try this out. Am I going to get into this easily? Come on. I need the old specs. I know they have to package things, but I'm sure they do it to test, make me look a wally. Ah, there we are. Found the pull strip. There we are. Got there eventually. Sorry if it's too much noise for anyone. Oh, I can take these off now. <laughs> For a bit. Oh, I know I need glasses, but I they give me such a headache. Right, okay, I've got all that off. So I haven't actually got anything on. So this is the new one, the 59. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about it. So share the warmth of a sun kiss sunset with uplifting notes of vanilla orchid, sugared violet, and sheer sandalwood. So let's have a go. And see what we think. Oh, there's still some of that pink and stuff on it. Let's 
stupid plastic. So let's have a, let's find something to spray it on first, just in case I go, oh no, that's not for me. Right, and take these specks off. So I've just got some. Oh, that is so yummy. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Yeah, liking that. So my little Sol De Niro spray collection is slowly growing. So yes, I like that. I know some people say it attracts spiders, but I think that was just a bit of a poo-ha thing. I don't think it was necessarily true, but yeah. Oh, now I can taste it. I put too much on. Oh, that is... Oh, that is really nice. So if you like those sort of notes, I would highly recommend that. Just first impression. Um, I <clears throat> Sorry, I'm all croaky now. I do find the sprays don't last very long on me. They might last longer on you. Um, I'm perimenopause. I'm 46, just in case anybody wanted to know. So, um, yeah, certain things do wear off on me or they smell different. You know, we all do because our chemicals so I hope you enjoyed this little haul and I will try and be back as soon as I can to do another, another little video or something so take care everyone see you all soon don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell share my videos all that stuff I really appreciate it see you all soon bye